The university takes very seriously its mission to the world and that this should be an international community where foreign scholars are coming to give lectures or to give seminars. We've had guest speakers from pretty much every corner of the world. It's also a fluid community where our students are going abroad to study. We try to make opportunities for our students to go to workshops, conferences abroad. The world is really our laboratory. As you're doing your research, you will be a vital ambassador of the United States to Russia. There are hundreds of opportunities out there for graduate students who want to go abroad to do some research. It is a systematic recounting of the Norse myths. We have helped Melissa Mayes find an opportunity which allowed her to go in and do research in Iceland. I was able to do a one-year master's program at the University of Iceland in medieval Icelandic studies. I got to spend a year studying languages and studying manuscripts. It was fantastic, especially getting to live right in the middle of Reykjavik and seeing an entire another culture. A dissertation proposal is about 15 to 20 pages long. We walk through their applications and give them suggestions on structure, on grammar, everything that they need so that it's a more polished draft. Having professional eyes look over my application was wonderful. You can't just do the accompaniment on a day-to-day -day basis and forget about addressing the root causes of the displacement. I'm attending the International Peace and Security Institute program in Bologna, Italy, which is focused on conflict prevention, resolution, and reconciliation. And it entails going along with 54 other students or professors or international mediators, United Nations representatives, to really deal with the issue of war, violence, reconciliation, and in short, how to create peace in the world. And as a student in theology and peace studies, this gives me the opportunity to be in the midst of some of the great lights of the world. So have you heard from the South African lab that's doing the external validation? I have traveled to Kenya and worked with Nicholas Myers, who's working on a quantitative test for analysis of an important nutrient. So we went to Mombasa. Iodine is really important for proper brain development in children, so almost all countries in the world add it to their salt. Nick's developing a test card that can be used to make sure that there's the right amount of iodine in the salt. And he taught the chemist at Kensalt how to use the technology, and then we did a little study to see how accurate the test cards were. Notre Dame is a very international place, and we are forging new relationships. There is serious commitment to outreach, to mission, to thinking about the future, not just for our students, but how our students should interact in the socially responsible way with the world.